Uh, how am I doing so far? You are doing like really spectacular. Bro. Okay, good. Well, isn't I've, he doing great? I mean, I, I I brought you in. Any good project has a closer, mm. and I know that you are you are the best for for bat and cleanup you could ever want. We met. It's been about ten years now. We met um, back in two thousand and seven. Okay. No, no. 2008, nine? 2008, oh, eight, wow. turn in nine. Like this oh. time, 2009. Isn't that wild? Yeah. And you're actually a producer on the show and, and you have been an inspiration and you're such a Renaissance man and you're so, you're so committed to, I, I think this thing of, of discovery. Um, what, what was it that, that first even, cause you've been ahead of this curve for a while. What got you into AI and, and, and what do you say to people who were worried that robots are taking over and they're gonna take jobs from humans and, and all that rigmarole? Well, in 2011, I worked at Intel in their futures department, just helping them think through how to deploy, you know, awesome technology in a popular culture. And what got me into that is because a long time ago, my mom sent me on a bus from East Los Angeles. I'm from East LA, so all the people from East LA, que onda, que pasó? Yeah! And I got bussed out to Palisades. <laughs> so I lived this like, you know, an hour and a half on the bus from East LA, one of the only black families in an all Mexican neighborhood to go to all white school. And I went to Brentwood Science Magnet School. So I was around science and technology my whole life. And that's, that's the reason I'm so fascinated about all things tech. But the awesome part about right now, and some people are concerned, um, is we are developing things that are gonna change humanity forever. Just like in, late 1800s and 1920, society changed, right? If it wasn't for the lights and electricity, the world would be totally different. But imagine if you were like a candlestick maker or a lantern company for like 100 years. You were afraid of light bulbs. Because you're you gonna be afraid of electricity. That's right. If this was 1920. You were afraid of airplanes. You were afraid of all that stuff. And yes, the light bulb, electricity, and the candlestick maker, it all rendered all those jobs obsolete. What we need to do, the focus that we need to be focused on right now is how do we get our American kids educated so they can compete That's right. 10, 20 years from now. That's the conversation we need to be having, is educating our youth. I'm telling you, for over a decade, people have seen, and I did meet him, nice enough guy, oh, Elon Musk, you must have based, you know, Tony Stark on, on Elon Musk. I think you are much closer to a real Tony Stark. Oh, no, I'm than, black Tony and, Stark. You're okay. black Tony Stark! It's official! The transfer is complete! Real stuff. Tony didn't die, he just actually finally got cool. <laughs> no, like, I got, a, I have, a, you know, my companies, you know, we created an amazing AI platform. So now we provide artificial intelligence, natural language understanding software for companies like Majad al Futame, who are like, you know, a big umbrella that owns supermarkets, movie theaters, and malls. And uh, yeah, we, we voiceify their engagements in, in products and services. I, I really urge everyone to have a look at this because you were instrumental in us feeling like we had the confidence to explore this, so I want to thank you. And uh, The Age of AI is now available to stream on YouTube. Black Eyed Peas will perform later in the show? What? <laughs>